Okay, today we are going to go into Star Wars Dark Vader. And what we are trying to get is that right there. Today's vintage card, Star Wars card. Thursdays, so Thursday is the new Vintage Thursday. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me see. Uh, today, well, which is 2-1-B, him. That's what I look like. No him. Series 3 Blue Packs. The odds are 1 in 75 pulls. Which isn't good at all. And they are going to open the Death Pack. Because I'm a true vintage player. And that's what they've done. And it's now 2 pulls that don't come out. Like I am. Since I don't play. Yeah, since I don't play. Missing out of 175 odds, we can go and get Bruce Wayne for 160,000 credits with the quick release. I'm going to try pack four. Don't know. Hmm, I'm going to scroll down to base series three blue packs. Right now, as you can see, there's 5,000. loses its glamour after a few pack openings. Okay, and that's not the one. Okay, one thing you should know is if there is in fact a vintage in this pack, it will be the fifth card or the last card in the pack. They don't put them at the top, they don't put them in the middle, they put them at the end of the pack. Alright. Lando. Alright. Ooh, he sucks. And he really sucks. That's the worst trading card, be it digital or physical, that's ever been produced by any of the dark cards. Okay. Get the sound out for a couple more pack openings. Well, for those of you who are
Wampa. I love the Wampa. I named my little baby, baby, baby Maltese that I adopted a couple years ago. Wampa. Little Wampa was very old and not in the best of health, and then he passed away. Um, but I'm not gonna get it personal. Yes, I named my little Maltese dog that I adopted. Wampa. After this creature. Enjoy. Sometimes I get lucky, I hit a vintage early. Sometimes I'm not so lucky, I don't hit one at all. Max von Sydow rocks the earth. I love Max von Sydow. Okay. New vintage. Um, I didn't like the movie she was in, yet she's attractive. Okay. There's a, well, this would be easy enough to research. I haven't just been too lazy to do it, but I've heard of rumors. The actress is, this actress is actually Peter Mayhew's wife. Peter Mayhew is the actor who plays Chewbacca, who has played Chewbacca in every Star Wars film that I know of. Okay, moving along. He's cool. Didn't do shit in the movie, but in Force Awakens, but he's still cool. Mm. Cool. And I like that little creature there, my little dog. So I like him. The other one was British. Okay, we're already down to 135 credits. My damn vessel, hot pine hunter from Attack of the Clones, maybe slept. Wampa! I like that little dude. He's cute. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Star Wars fans are not gonna, don't, won't like me for this, but C3PO has just never been one of my favorite characters. Neither has R2-D2, for that matter. BB-8 blows them both away. Okay, well, I did get this insert. See, every week I get this freaking thing. Um, in the base series, three blue packs. Inserts do what's known as unstacking. Uh, this card here is in the um, Making of Mondays insert series. The Making of Mondays is... excited about this series whatsoever uh, whenever I get these cards which I get them every freaking week when I'm trying to get on Thursday when I'm trying to get a vintage um, I get rid of them as quickly as I can Ooh, goodness. Uh, if you heard that sound that rah, um, I also have the Walking Dead card trader app on my phone yeah I'm a geek um, and whenever something happens on that zombie sound notification down. So that's that. Okay. Let's see the back of this clone. Not my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just motoring right along. Too poverty. Okay. Next one. 
This is a cool character from um, the animated series Rebels. He's the Inquisitor. He's pretty bad. Uh, sh who doesn't like Ahsoka Tano? Um, she's a cool, great character from um, oh, uh, uh, the Clone Wars and uh, Rebels animated series. Although, in the um, Clone Wars series, she was just like a little girl <laughs> training some uh, male fanboys out there who are uh, get a little too excited about her um, in the little girl stage um, in Rebels which took place after the Clone Wars if you don't watch the series um, Ahsoka was grown up as you can see she's an adult at that at this point um, yeah I'm just watching the replay though okay he sucks Generally what happens is I'll pull a vintage out of a pack, maybe like one out of every four, four times, and like once a month, I don't go weekly, once a month I'll get lucky and I'll hit a vintage in a pack. It's always great. Um, what I do, because I'm trying to collect the whole series of the vintage inserts, and I don't get it. basically a uh, message board on the app where all the people on it where they post what they have for trade and what they're looking for and I'll generally go in there and make a deal trade somebody something to get the vintage that I want and people are real jerks about it because they want like way too much because the vintages are considered um, the one of the flagship inserts of the app and um, uh, some people just put a little too much value in cards that, like I said earlier, you know, don't actually exist. Okay, here we go. Akbar, never liked this character either. Jawas, who doesn't like Jawas? This guy was cool, although he had very little screen time in The Force Awakens. Um, I have nothing against this guy. I'm assuming he's some sort of Troopers, that's real cool. Uh, Hera, she's a character from Rebels, she's cool. Of course he is cool. I don't have to say anything, everybody knows he's cool. They're cool. I love that how it goes. Um, and uh, Snow Troopers. Force Awakens had some really great new characters and new outfits. Oh, there's the um, rumored wife of Chewbacca. Just spinning and spinning and spinning. Well, credits are free. You know, I don't put any money into this app, so uh, the way we get credits on this app is every day you have to go and um, sign in um, to the app. When you sign in for the day, you automatically get twenty-five thousand credits. Um, and every, I believe, seventh, sixth. Seventh day, I can't remember one of those. You get a bonus, you get 50,000. So you get around 200, 200,000 credits a week, I believe, if my math's right. Um, and, you know, unless something comes out that I'm super excited about, I generally just save my credits, try to get a vintage, and if any other inserts come out that I really kind of want, then I'll trade for them. Okay, this guy sucks. This guy really sucks, as we discussed earlier. Actually, before I talk about the app, I do want to make a point in this pack where the vintage won't be. Um, I'd like to address something on these cards. Um, these cards are from Series 3 of the um, Card Traders card band. When the app first... 
Wars came out a year and a half years ago, a year and a half ago, or something like that. They did Series 1 cards. And then they did Series 2 cards. But it's a Series 2 ink job. Although the design on these cards, Series 3, <clears throat> is much better than Series 1 and 2. Um, series 1 and 2 cards, I hated the design. The, um, they weren't even a perfect, they didn't have perfect corners like this does, the four corners, and this looks like a trading card, but this does. Um, they had some odd shape to them. I'll show it to you before, I'll show you one before I, before I end this video. But, what I did like, okay, let me show you, the, let me show you the back of this card. Um, to get to the back, you just tap on it. Okay, that's what the back of the, um, the base cards, these are, these are called base cards, they're not inserts. Um, this is what the back of them look like. Now they're different colors because there's different parallels. There's the white ones, the blue, red, uh, and green, orange, and so on and so on. Um, I don't get into collecting all the colors. I just want one solid set, preferably white. And um, if I get, you know, Whatever I get in the blues and the reds and whatever, great. I, I don't care about them. Okay. Back of this card, you know, base series three, it says, you know, it's got a cool background. Um, Star Wars card trader by Topps, Snow Trooper, and the movie he was in, Star Wars The Force Awakens. You know, that's compared to series one and two, that sucks. Because the series one and two cards. telling you who this character is, what their place is in the Star Wars universe, so on and so on. I don't, I don't, I, Tops, you know, I love Tops for doing this app, you know, because we get a lot of fun out of it, but damn it, Tops, you were just freaking lazy with Series 3 on here. Why did you not put the story of the character on the back of these cards? Yeah, okay, that's my rant. All right, moving on. That's foolish looking. Okay. Oh man, my phone's ringing. My God. Hi. Hey Mark. Just wanted to let you know everything was fine. Very good. Okay. I'm about halfway there. Oh, cool. You're making good time. All right, well, yeah, call me again. 30 minutes? Okay, I will. All right, thank you. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Star Wars universe. Three's 
Jesus, Lord, I thank you for your goodness, Lord, because we're not stupid, Lord. We know that you are good, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless this day, Lord.
stickers of Stevenson Fox. But they were in. They had a piece of gum. It was a uh, card packs used to have a piece of gum in there. Well, gum was sugar free. And I also think it would be why I did not see these because they were sugar free. <laughs> Although she was in Arlington, I've been very close to her. Uh, 
passed away. Um, second in Oz's tavern. Uh, he was one of the kind of weird people in there. He was cool with it. Sugar free. Oh god, he's still on it. Sugar free. Oh, come on, baby. Sugar free. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh. That guy sucks. Okay. Well, I, I'm about to wrap this video up.
people in the app do what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Um, what what is this? Pick. <clears throat> I'm just supposed to pick one character and hoard it. Um, in other words, you try to get as many of them as you can. Um, some people like to hoard like several. Uh, 